<laughs> Gotta love the cheese. <laughs> All right. So what do you want to know about mushrooms? What are we what are we gonna do today? Hey y'all, welcome back. So the other video that we did with Yarrow, the herbal Jedi, we talked about the smoke blends and botanicals. So if you haven't seen that one, go check that one out. And today I wanted to talk to him about mushrooms because he's starting a new medicinal mushroom video series. And if he treats the mushrooms the way he does the botanicals, I know it's gonna be amazing. So I wanted to say thank you again for your time and for your knowledge and welcome to Amity Dreamers, say hi. All right, thank you for having me, yeah. Happy to be here with you guys. Happy to share anything you want to know on mushrooms. This is something I've been dabbling in for a long time. Actually, my whole life, I've been excited about the wood wide web, getting out into the myco universe and connecting in. So I learned about the medicinals. I harvest a lot of edibles and I'm just a passionate, passionate myco warrior. So I just love working with the mushrooms and happy to share in any capacity I can. All right, cool. So the first one I want to ask you about is lion's mane. And so the people mm. that follow my channel, a lot of us have been on benzodiazepines or we've just had issues with stress, panic and anxiety, and that'll do a number on your brain. And one of the things that I read about when I first got off benzos and was really worried about my mental capacity is I started taking lion's mane. And I honestly think it saved my life. Like it, it feels like the most powerful brain thing ever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of about lion's mane. Right now, it's become one of the top mushrooms. In fact, probably the number one in sales in North America all of a sudden. No, we're mm. reishi. Reishi used to be the biggest selling mushroom. The reason is, is a lot of us suffer from anxiety, depression, cognitive dissonance, uh, mental fatigue, uh, you know, candida overgrowth, brain fog, uh, not to mention where lion's mane was really originally studied was in neurodegenerative diseases. So working with Parkinson's and multiple sclerosis and stuff like this and helping repair nerves. But where people use it now is around getting that edge. A lot of kind of almost biohackers in a sense are trying to like <laughs> have better memory, have better cognitive function, repair and create better cross brain communication. So in a way, this is one of those mushrooms that offers a nerve cellular nerve growth factor so i'll actually able to build up better nerve cells and create better cross-brain communication protecting the mylar sheath so giving better nerve firing and then also just increasing kind of muscle memory and so much more it's a mushroom that's been eaten for a long time it's it was a food in fact many karate and ninja and actually many martial arts used lion's mane mushrooms as a muscle memory teacher right in order to keep training the body to do that same motion we see now that the studies that are most promising are on things like dementia and alzheimer's so this is a huge area obviously nobody wants to lose their edge as they get older it's one of the things most of us fear is that we're going to stop remembering things we're not going to be sharp we're not going to keep up with the millennials or the gen zetters or whatever whoever's next down the line which is actually natural and where we should be but with longer lives, more opportunity for chronic disease, more we need neuro regeneration and support of our brain cells. So that's in a nutshell why lion's mane has really become such a popular medicine for our time. I mean, if you even go on Google and you go herbs for, you're most likely gonna get the first word that auto populates is depression or anxiety. And really you should be looking at mushrooms for depression or anxiety, you got lion's mane. I agree and one of the things that I don't even know if I've told you all about it but about like 15 years ago I accidentally had a kitchen accident and stabbed myself and I lost feeling in these three Ooh. fingers and I had the physical therapy the surgery all of it and they were really disappointed that it failed and so I just never got feeling back in them after all that work and all that pain and when I started taking the lion's mane for my brain mm. three months later I burned this finger and it hurt and I'm like wait what and now I have feeling Damn. back in them this many years later that's not supposed to be possible well that's what we thought you know this is the thing like as a kid I was told you only trim nerve cells you know you don't regrow them and we just now know that is not true you can regrow nerve cells and you need nerve cell growth stimulants like lion's mane to help do that though this is not normally what the body does in its own capacity. So here's a, a mushroom that can support us that way. I would also love to just, if you're interested in lion's mane, there's a few things I want to share that I want to make sure people know. First off is there's, there's active compounds. Now, you know, we, we like the whole mushroom, you know, it's to help your fungi and fungal, use the whole mushrooms, but there are compounds known as 
pericinones and arinocines. These are two kind of active compounds that are mostly not measured in a lot of the products. So often you don't get high volumes of them, which means that you actually need quite a bit more than most people take. And y'all, if you can get a box and grow your own, it is so incredibly it's pretty good. Cool, eh? It tastes amazing. So thanks for the recommendation on that. And you have a medicinal mushroom line, right? Yeah, we do. Um, so my, one of my companies, Harmonic Arts, is our, our kind of baby around producing the highest quality mushroom extracts. Uh, we do a powder format and a tincture format to make them really bioavailable. You can find out about us at harmonicarts.com or harmonicarts.ca, depending if you're in Canada or America. Um, and yeah, we really just strive to produce the highest quality mushroom extracts, you know, in, in that sense. But, I will say but, I highly recommend you try to connect with this mushroom in person. Something that has become what I call not a crime against wisdom, but an important piece is to have direct experience with what we're putting in our body, right? A lot of people, they just read about it, hear about it, see a YouTuber like me talk about it, and they're like, this must be good for me. I would invite you to try and, even if it's just once, pick up one of those lion's manes, squish it, feel it, cut it, nibble it, fry it, make soup with it, just connect with it at least once so that you can infuse yourself with a bit of the the kind of spirit of this mushroom. That in itself, it might seem like, you know, coyote shaman medicine, but no, that- No, they get it. That's my audience. That has like, they such get a benefit, that, right? And it's a, yeah, and they're so fun to squeeze and handle and they're soft and yeah. Totally. So that's another invitation is to really go deep and connect with that. So I'm gonna give it to you. He told me about the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. And then we decided to call them.